Hi there, dolly friends. I am going to restring this little dollhouse doll today. She needs to get out of here because she tried to escape and she did a very bad job of stringing herself. So if you wanna know more about that, be sure you stay through the video and you can see the movie. These, I'm going to cut her bad string off. Poor dear, just couldn't tolerate another day in the hospital. I'm going to peg string her today to avoid a pin joint, which would be like a metal wire creating a pin to go through there, and to avoid this bulky knot, which I've seen on dolls before. I like the peg string, and there's different ways that you can do it. You can use whatever you have on hand. You can, I'm going to use a wooden dowel, but you can also use uh, toothpicks. You can use a chopstick. I didn't have a wooden chopstick, so I didn't get one out. I'm soaking her clothes in a cap full of some perk, a cap full mixed with water. And you can buy this online, I've mentioned it before. So I'm gonna just let those soak. They're not too bad, they're just a little bit dirty, nothing significant. And I let those soak while we string her. Like I mentioned before, I use um, old kid gloves and cut out little circles to apply to the joints so the bisque doesn't rub up against itself and cause more opportunity for chipping. So the hardest, the hardest part about doing this is making the little pegs. So if you think about they're like little corks really and I've made two already and they're very, very tiny. Um, and the hardest part is just getting those right. You could even go through any wood scraps that you have and see if you have anything worth, have anything that might fit. You'll also need a little file to file it down. I'm going to put her back in her bin here and set her aside while I while I whittle down my, oops, my pegs. You want, you'll want to use the arms and legs for fitting. You want it to fit down in there a little bit loosely because you're gonna also have the string. And this is a size, oh dear, it's either a zero or a one. I'll have to put it, um, I'll have to look it up and put it across the screen there. But they come in very small sizes, zero, one, two, etc. I just take it here and, and start whittling. And I'm just using a little mat. I actually got this mat at the Dollar Tree. I don't go to the Dollar Tree very often. Um, so when I do, I'm always really fascinated by the things I find there. Oops, sorry. So just be very careful. Take your time. You don't need to push hard. Just a little, little bit of pressure. Does it? Be sure you have a new blade on your knife. I'm using the X-Acto knife because it's small and lets me get a little bit uh, narrow. So just kind of... Um, so just shave it almost like you're making a pencil point. It doesn't need to be at a complete point, but it does need to be a little bit graduated. See what I'm doing here. See how that's going. And then I just do a little, a little fitting. That's actually not too bad for her leg, is I just take a pencil and I just get a little pencil mark inside the, inside the hole. So 
so that when you twist the so when you twist when you twist your dowel it will leave a little mark and there you go I ended up completing two more dowels, but they were too small for any of the limbs. So I started again and did them a little bit thicker. So I'm going to skip through all my error, but you just take your time. And if you, if they're too small or too big, you just do it again. Well, at least that's what I do. I also got at the dollar store this little set of tweezers. I think there was one more. I'm sure there was one more set, the crisscross ones, but I don't know where I've set them. Um, at any rate, yeah, that's a good buy for some little tweezers for lifting small things. I'm just whittling and sanding so you can see my process. But like I said, they turned out too small. Oh well, I'll have extra pegs for the next time. See how it looks like a little cork? This one's gonna be the fiddliest one, so I think I'm gonna start with that one. Of string. That should be plenty. And I'm gonna start with her left arm because that seems to be the most fiddly and I wanna get it out of the way. I don't know why I am doing it this way. You do not need to do it this way. The first arm you can do completely on its own, separate from the body. I don't know why I did it this way. This is an unnecessary step for the first arm. Cool if I had my other clamp, but it seems to be missing. So I'm going to just do a little practice here. I this may even be too small. Right, I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to put some glue. I'm just gonna put a little wood glue just for good measure. Just gonna put a little glue in the joint there. And as I've said before, I just am using wood glue. There we go. And then you can just use your dowel to push it in. to the other side. <clears throat> I'll just push it in a little more. And you can see it's pretty good in there. Now let's do the other side. You can see this one will be easier because it's a little bit longer. I want to pull my string as much as I can. I'm 
not too hard. There we go. I'm just going to give it a little more pressure there. You don't want to crack the bisque, so be very careful. I'm going to speed my way through the legs and get to the end of this stringing because I want to show you a grave mistake that I made. And I don't know that I would have known before I started, but I should have known after the first leg. You'll see what I mean. And there she is. But she didn't turn out so well. So I'm thinking that maybe her legs and arms need to be strung across and hmm yep I'm going to redo it and I'll do it in an X pattern that is left arm to right leg right arm to left leg you'll see well I've unstrung her and popped her pegs out and I'm going to start my new plan I'll start by joining the right arm to the left leg I didn't do the glue on this first join in case it didn't work out. can already see that that's the better way to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up. I put the second cord up through her right leg and I'm trying to fish it out through her left armhole. And thank you to my friend who suggested using a crochet hook, but this is what I have right now. I wasn't planning to do this, so <laughs> I didn't have my crochet hook handy, but that's an excellent idea. Thank you so much. Now, that is much better for her, as you can see. But there you go. You just have to try um, from time to time and see. I'm going to see if I can gently push my pegs in a little more since I did not add glue this time. So I wasn't as careful to see that the pegs went in the right places, but I'm just going to leave her. I'm going to go ahead and cut her strings. She is a little hippie, but who isn't? And I'm just gonna wait for her clothes to dry and then we'll get her dressed. And I have two extra pegs for the next time. First, I thought you'd like to see what happened when she tried to escape from her hospital.
I apologize for getting the video out a little bit later than I normally do. It was just the best that I could do this week. Thank you so much to all of you who have stopped by my channel to watch my videos and leave a comment and a thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I know we all love watching doll videos, doll's house videos, and miniatures videos. And I don't know what you think, but I just can't get enough of them. So I really appreciate you stopping by and come back next week. We'll have a doll's house update. Here's the parlor. We'll see how the trim is coming along. Have a great day, everyone.